overall performance for the team? How, how happy were they? How complete this win was? And it, it was great. Uh, I feel like we dominated a lot of the phases. Uh, watched the film, got a lot of things to work through, but it was a great win. Uh, worked all week for this, so you know we gonna enjoy this. What bike you're night specifically? What one went for you? What'd you like? Uh, you know, um, I feel like there were good times. There was um, kind of times where we struggled to get going, but uh, main thing was just finishing. You know, that's how I wanted to do. So um, that's my mentality, especially coming out the half. So I took what they gave me. Offense did a great job. Offensive line did a great job. Tight ends, everybody involved in running, you know, running the ball. They did a great job. Now, what did Coach Heifel uh, uh, say? People are going to see 51 to 10 across the country. You know, what did Coach Heifel say? You know, he was just uh, you know, proud of us. He just told us, enjoy this. Uh, we watched the film tomorrow, be critical ourselves, see if we could get better. But, you know, definitely proud of us for this win. What's the juice is the way the defense is playing for you guys. That's really three straight games. Yeah, nah, we so much confidence out, you know what I'm saying? It's like we expecting them to get the ball back for us, you know, hold them, stop them. You know, if they keep playing like that and we keep stringing things together, man, you know, the sky's the limit. What's your mindset on those Utah passes? Kind of a unique play on third downs, obviously. On what? Those Utah passes, the shovel passes. Oh, yeah, What's yeah. your mindset? Just, you know, I mean, I know I repped it so many times. You got to get a feel for the defense, such a field play. I mean, I, I put it in terms like you feel like having faith in God. You know what I'm saying? You turn your back to the defense, you don't know what's going to happen. Sometimes good, sometimes yeah. bad. But, you know what I'm saying? You got to make stuff happen. You, you said 300 yard games in, in your last three starts. What's working for you this season so far? Well, I think it's just my pepper, preparation, trust I have in my teammates, trust they have in me. Um, just knowing that if things don't go right, just reset. Um, don't press too hard. Just let the game come to me, you know? To say about Nico that he threw that interception in the first half. I think that the next pass is that deep ball to just yeah. see it bounce back that way. Yeah, you know, no worries about him. You know what I'm saying? We all gonna make mistakes, um, but he's a type. He's not gonna let it get to him. You know, he takes ownership for it, and he's a type that's eager to get back on the field, calm, cool, and collected, and, and go make it right. What's the next step for the offense? To maybe finish with a touchdown instead of having to set up a couple of those field goals. I think it's the term of just straining for a little bit longer. We'll be getting certain different looks that um, I guess we weren't expecting, you know, in those moments. So um, also just settling tunes, settling tune with the play calls and just trusting each other. It was just minor things. Also, the penalties was hurting us, you know what I'm saying? So if we cannot hurt ourselves, you know what I'm saying? A lot of those drives ended more points. What did it say that y'all scored 50 or I guess the offense scored 40 something and there were some drives that y'all did not finish? Yeah. Nah, we left points out there. We could have easily probably had about 60, 70 on that day, but. Um, you know, it's opportunity. It's just opportunity. You know, go back and watch the film, and and this moment gonna be like, dang, like we left that out there. You know what I'm saying? But we'll fix that opportunity to go out there and put points up every game. How long does it take? Third year. This is your third year. What about this defense? It's different from the past two defenses. Defense. I think they just have a deeper connection. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got a lot of young people, like on the um, kind of in the back seven, but um, back half of it. But uh, you know, they work hard. You know what I'm saying? The energy they fly around with. From spring ball to fall camp, it's just contagious. You know, every time they touch the field, it, it's something. So I just you see that energy go out there and play with it. So, yeah. so without Cam Seldon tonight, good workload for Sean Bishop along with you. What you see from him tonight? No, nah, he, he did a good job just being patient, uh, taking him when the game comes to him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know how it feels to try to get in the flow of the game and stuff like that, but you know what I'm saying? He was just did whatever he could for the team tonight. He, he did a good job. How, how, long did it take, how long did it take Deshaun to recover from almost chasing that interception down? Ooh, he was straight after. I'm not going to lie. He came back like nothing happened for real. <laughs> like we slide. How, how excited were you when Will was running down that sideline to the pick six? Man, turn. You know what I'm saying? I knew that was a turning point in the game. You know what I'm saying? Because we was, uh, like like he said, kind of hurt ourselves in the foot of these past couple games. But that, that, that spark, you know, especially for Will Brooks, I'm glad he made that play.